Good morning. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> um, we're driving home um, from Mass this morning, and uh, I thought we'll uh, we'll try to do this commentary uh, before we miss out on the important point that uh, I think we we need to comment about regarding this gospel today. I already made a comment about this gospel. Uh, um, I think during the time of. Um, uh, Advent when uh, we also read the same gospel from St. Matthew. It's from St. Matthew chapter 18 verses 21 to 35. It's about that gospel where our Lord talks about forgiving uh, our neighbor 70 times 7 times. Okay, Meaning really technically uh, as far as the Jewish um, uh, interpretation of uh, that 7 uh, means is that uh, it's really infinite and our lord uh, even even took it to the extreme um saying 70 times 7 or sometimes some other gospel text would say 77 times whatever um uh, translation we prefer to listen to uh, the number 7 really uh, indicates infinity so our Lord is advocating that, or is teaching, that we forgive our brothers many, many times. Practically, it's an infinite count. There's no, there's no limit to the forgiveness that uh, Jesus wants us to exercise. Okay? And uh, our Lord also taught us uh, through the uh, Lord's Prayer, the Our Father, well, um, forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. So forgiveness is very much part of our um, the practice of our Catholic faith. But I think there's one thing we need to emphasize, which um, sadly, uh, uh, you know, even during that whole year of the year of mercy, which uh, Pope Francis um, inaugurated, uh, was that uh, a year or two ago? Um, you know, the year of mercy, we heard plenty of preaching about the mercy of God, mercy, mercy, mercy. And uh, it's fantastic that we, um, that the, the Pope had devoted plenty, uh, I mean, the, uh, an entire year on the talking about the mercies of God. And our priest spoke about mercy um, countless times uh, from the pulpit. Today, again, the, there was that opportunity to talk about mercy, to talk about forgiveness. But you see, sadly, there's one thing that uh, people are not talking about these days. <laughs> and uh, we heard very little about it also, even during that year-long celebration of mercy. And what is that very important point about mercy that people are forgetting about? It is that aspect of repentance. Yes, God is all merciful. God forgives and God will always forgive. But what we are forgetting about is that God forgives. God is merciful to those who repent. Okay? Forgiveness is not <laughs> automatic, so to speak. Of course, from the from the bottom of our hearts we 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 should uh, we should um, automatically forgive, yeah. Uh, but there are always consequences to that. Uh, and God will always forgive. That's right. But God forgives the repentant. God forgives those who repent. Okay. And in fact, we, we should not forget that, that while God is all merciful and God forgives, He is also all just. God is also all just and he deals punishment on those of us who do not repent. There are consequences for everything we do, whether it be good or bad. There is heaven and there is hell. Let us not forget about hell. Many people forget about the existence of hell and they think, oh, you know, uh, after sinning, after living a life of sin, uh, God is going to forgive me. I will go to heaven. Well, guess what? That is the sin called presumption. Okay, that's the sin of presumption. God is not going to just forgive you. You got to repent for your sins. You got to be sorry. You got to show 
some amount of uh, of uh, uh, being sorry for the sins that you commit okay and let's not forget that and and in fact to emphasize that God himself Jesus himself has instituted an entire sacrament it's called confession so that we can repent from our sins and say sorry to God and and uh, approach him with a sorrowful and humble heart confession and now that we are at the season of Lent this is a very very good season to exercise and practice this particular sacrament with more devotion with really more sincere sorrow and repentance from our sins so folks let's not forget that this season of Lent let us also talk about repentance not only talk about uh, forgiveness let us not forget repentance repent 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 from our sins and there's plenty to repent from I'd like to bet right all of us for all of us let's not fool ourselves let's not fool ourselves our human nature is such that we know if we understand ourselves if we really know ourselves and understand human nature we know uh, how steeped we are in sinfulness and there's plenty plenty to be sorry for I would be the first I would be the number one uh, sinner who understands how sinful I am and that is why we I go to confession every week <laughs> every week uh, and the, the, the week or the day we forget or we miss confession for whatever reason it's just so hard to it's like it's like it's so hard to go through that whole week uh, having missed confession uh, for that week right uh, we are the first people who understand the need for repentance and we go to confession every week so folks I would encourage you this season of Lent there's plenty more time before Holy Week and you know before the whole season of Lent is gone uh, let us think about repentance, repentance, repentance from our sins. Go to confession. I'd encourage all of you, make a good and sincere and contrite confession. It's a good stress reliever, <laughs> to say the least. And we will obtain plenty of graces from God for making a very, very good confession. Okay. That's it for us this morning, folks. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Bye. I'm going to say goodbye, everybody. Bye. Where's everybody? Oh, we're still all sleepy. I guess. Shabby, where are you? We can't see you.